So when we first bought our place, well, there was nothing going on, right? It was a few foundation plantings, a few roadies, but I put this garden in and the vegetable garden back there, the patios. So I would love to have a gazebo right here. You see where it's marked, just to get a little bit of a block here for the neighbors. I mean, we're basically in the middle of farm fields, so it feels private, but it's all very, very flat. So my vision is, so, you know, Steve and the boys poured this patio um, last year. So my vision is where I marked with the hose here to have a gravel path. The gravel path will go kind of like this. I kind of laid it out and then this way. And then doopy doopy doo this way, and then a gazebo, and I'll have flower gardens all around it. I mean, let's face it, it's probably just a whole big excuse for me to be able to uh, put climbing roses up there. So, always an excuse to have more beautiful flowers growing. The first step is to mark the, uh, the ground with spray paint so Steve knows where to put the sod cutter. And we'll mark this at three feet, make a dot, and then we'll mark it so we have it all marked out. Marked. Wow, that's pretty fast. Woo! Let the fun begin. Oh, machinery. Look at that saw cutter. Woo! He's leaving. Oh. Oldest is leaving. Darn. He has more important things to do. Oh my gosh. Here's my other teenager. Oh, we're using the sod to fill up the area in my garden there. I'm gonna mulch. Too old for this. So that's what we're doing. Putting it in the garden. So in my vegetable garden, it uh, see how it gets really wet? So I build up the sod here upside down um, a couple of layers and then I'm gonna finish it with putting the sod this way just to make it grass again, just higher this time. Good way to use it. I am completely exhausted right now. My back is hurting, but I got all the sod spread and uh, hopefully it'll grow back in. Made it a little higher here. Okay, so this is the gazebo with of course the garden beds around it. So the gazebo is gonna be way smaller, sitting in the middle here. And then I'm gonna build little path with gravel out here. So that's it for today. I am done and very happy. So the next step in our gazebo journey is to um, dig out the pathway here down to four inches so we can put down the base layer, well, the landscaping cloth and base layer. Rock, are you helping? Getting there. Super happy. So, next step is going to be the uh, landscaping cloth, and then the stop. Uh, step <laughs> is to tamp down the soil with the tamper. That's overkill, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> in the meantime, Steve is cutting okay. landscaping cloth to put in here. Oh, landscaping cloth there. Now we're down spout coming out right here, so we made a little drain. Put that edging up there, make it look neat, help with the grass. If I were any cooler, I would have a time-lapse thing going on here, but I'm not so cool, so. Border installed, wheat cloth installed. Now we're tamping it down to create a nice firm surface or underlayment or whatever you call that. And then uh, pea gravel on top of that. I'm getting pea gravel and uh, the weather forecast said it's going to be sunny-ish, but that's not happening. I have nobody to help me today, so I'm going to unload this truckload by myself and put it on the path. So far, so good.